Sospirando aspetta i poveri. La tua faccetta mostra mi che ho baciar senza tardar. La tua boccuccia, amor mi cruccia, amor mi cruccia e mi sta tormentando. Mi sta tormentando. Bravo. Grazie. I enjoyed it. Tell me something. When you sing, why is the reason that I always have the feeling that you have to go up to the note? Why not sing in, yeah. in one level? Yeah. Do you think that way or you don't? I, I would like to. And then sometimes. Uh, just in, in the act of singing, I get, I get kind of... Yeah, but you know, the thing is, try to realize that singing is not only uh, a physical thing. What I feel, for instance, when I watched you, before you started, you were not completely ready. You see, the moment you start to hear the music, dun, already we have to feel you're already. What I mean by this, if you're not ready, what will happen? This would be an automatist. But if you're ready, you're always above it. Like for instance, if you notice your high note, you have to do ta, ta, and it should be the opposite. It's supposed to be ta, ta. 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 And this is, this is what creates the problem. Can we just try just that high note for one minute? Yeah, that sense yeah, yeah. Uh, Just think the way you <coughs> just said it from, for me. Sen Senza, it should be senza. That's the opposite. You have to think of the opposite. Okay. Let's try. Okay. Just, uh, just uh, the, the phrase there. That's what I said. Okay. La tua facetta. You see, uh, right there. La, and in, in B, <coughs> instead of being la, I would like to hear. La. Yeah. You know, prepare it yes. that you bring, you bring more or less, yeah. you bring the voice higher. Now what happened, you, you see it very calmly, very easy. No, think the opposite. You know, sometimes we think because we're doing that, it's much more difficult. It's the opposite. It's to go up and go up, that's very difficult. But yeah. if you're up, to go down, up, to go down, that's easy. And it's only a frame of mind. Yeah, okay. Let's try it. Okay. Same. La can, can you try to think even more? La, no, yeah. la, okay. la, it's half. Okay. La tua faceta mostra mi che ho baciar senza tardar. Yeah. You got the message? That's what I would have liked to have done the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. But you, it, it's only a matter of mind over matter. Yeah. And that's the thing we do. We think because it's the voice, we have to be, it's got to be simple. Yes, it's got to be simple. But at the same time, your mind can create a simplicity. But at the same time, put it where it belongs. Mm -hmm. Simple. <laughs> uh, the whole okay. thing should be exactly the same thing, you know? Uh, give me the first phrase, just for the fun. Okay? Try it. No, 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 no. Yeah, play me from the very beginning. I'm just going to... Get... Uh, no, hold it, hold it. Now, I want you to get ready for this. Okay. Oh. You see? 
see? Yeah. You're, you're, you're down here. And you have to bring it. Oh, and it's got to be the opposite. Now, you watch me, just for the fun. Just okay. here. Just uh, watch me here. Okay. I'm not going to sing it, but I'm going to show you the preparation. Play the beginning. You see? I'm over. Yep, you, you, I saw that. Yep. That's what you have to do. I see what you're Okay. Yeah. Once more. This is the simple. Yeah? Don't drop it. All it, all it, all it, all it. Start again. You got to stay. You know the funniest thing about it? When you sing, you start here. Yeah. And you never go down. You never drop, drop it's it. It's from beginning of the opera, that's where you are, and you go till the end of the opera. Yeah. And that that will make you a, a hundred times more easy for you to do the opera that way. Do it again. Okay. You see, what, you see what I hear? Yeah. Okay, we didn't, yeah. You understand? Yes. It's mind over yep. matter. Yeah. These these little habits that That's all right. right over me. Try it again. Okay. You see? <laughs> Mind doesn't want to do it. And that is. Mind is. Not. I could not do it. But yeah. if I do the opposite, I'll be able to do it. Okay. Once more. Good. Now, for you, all it, all it for one minute, watch me. I feel you do. Then it goes, it goes, it goes. Then. Oh, oh. Again. You understand? Yep. Yep. You really have to stay there, stay there. And when you sing, oh, oh, call on Okay, let's start that again, right yeah. from the beginning, right there. Once more. Oh, I went there. Good. Mm -hmm. I rest my case. I was noticing one thing. Uh, we had spoken once upon a time about the breath. Why don't you use the breath as a musical breath? Yeah. Okay. Now what you're doing, you're taking a breath, like each phrase is a breath. No. Use it's it. Yeah, to you understand what I'm talking yeah, about? I do. Uh, now you, you, you're working against yourself. Could you give me the, practically the, the I think it's the last two phrases of this. Okay. If you would give uh, give me that 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 breath, uh, uh, it would have made the whole difference. Yeah. Plus, I felt a little stiff. Yes. Your voice is a gorgeous voice. 
except my, my only criticism about it right now is you don't. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah. Okay, shall we try? Mm -hmm. Give me the last two phrases. <coughs> you know the last two things you did. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. That, 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 no, the second time. The second time? Yes. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't go. Ah. Yeah, yeah. You understand what, yeah. the, what the boys do? It, it seems like all of a sudden. Yeah. But that's what you have to do. Okay. Yeah, the your other head, my shoulders got stiff too. That's right. So, yeah. It's because uh, you're taking a little breath. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it was not in my body. But if you did the opposite, you do. Da, 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 da. It gives you a tremendous yeah. amount of voice. Try it again. The same thing. No. Even, even more than that. What you take is what you give. <laughs> How long is that phrase? It's very short. Da, 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 da. And you're going to take a breath there. That means don't, 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 don't take a breath like you're going to do the whole phrase together. Good? Okay. No. You see, you're taking the air. Are you stopping? Oh, okay. You're I doing. see what you mean. Da, da, da. But if yeah. you would do the opposite, you, you would do. Da, 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 Even more. Liberate yourself. So in your what you want in the breath is that it keeps extending and then when I Absolutely. sing it extends even more. Absolutely. So and not only the the, in, uh, the, uh, the the expansion of the intake is the expansion of what you have. You know, uh, you, you do, for instance, you take the air. Huh? Okay. Now you have all that expansion. <sighs> Stay with it. Yeah. It's going to give you like a quarter more, maybe a a third more voice than what you're giving me. Mm -hmm. And the quality, you'll be very surprised how much you're going to increase the quality of your voice for that reason. Now what you're doing, you're minimizing. Mm -hmm. And what is happening, it's like uh, you're just belly, pung, pung, pung. No, the other yeah. one is, and it's like the violin, you know, the, the violin, the zing. <laughs> exactly. Look at the viol uh, violinist when he plays, uh, the great violinist. They, they don't play. No they, <laughs> no, they all have this, yeah. Well, why do you think they do that? Because to give this amplification. Us, we have it. It's right there. Do it with the breath. Okay. I would say even Paul could do the same. Try. <laughs> no. I know, I felt the stop. No, it, it yeah, changed. I didn't have that. Do me a favor, without singing, just do the breath. Ah. Ah, uh, no, 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 that is. Ah. 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 That one. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Good. Let's try it again. Okay. You, could, you, could, you could give me even five times more. Five. <laughs> Now, for, uh, for you, it, uh, do it as an exercise, not as an interpretation or anything like that. But try to see how much could you give more. Okay. When you come here, don't stop. Ah. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Like uh, you, you, you're yawning, you know. Ah. 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 It felt. Tea. Tea. Uh, you see, tea. your T is always too soon. Too it's soon? never, it's never in the complete amplification of your so breath. So you want me to breathe be way before? It's not a matter of breathing a lot more before, but to make sure that when you start to exhale, exhale that you're really going in an amplification and not a, a thing. Uh, no, no. E, T, e. Ah. E. Good. Okay, I, I, I was dropping. That's exactly. right. Okay. Siak. E. Do you remember something we had talked once upon a time? Rotation. Yeah. And where yeah. did I sing? Where did I say you have to sing? You have to sing. Hold here. it, hold it. Why don't go so fast? No. Go slowly, slowly. 
And where, where, where? D. No, you see? No, you were T. It's T. T, down here. Okay. Try it. Actually, you know, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I was doing T here because That's of the going down, uh, of the going up. I wanted it to be going up and down. I'm with 100%. Okay. Think in your mind. T, but T. Okay. okay. The height of the voice, you go, naturally, what yeah, you yeah. do is right. I don't discriticize that. Okay. But at the same time, you liberate yourself, and but your voice remains here, but you go, T. That is the, th that is the thing that is a little bit difficult, confusing to try to understand, but that is the only thing to do. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. What's wrong? Mm. T. T. No, why T? No. T. T. Ah, your body, it's trying to think. T. Ah. Yeah. I yeah, n not, not this. Uh, I had to. Ah, now you're talking. Okay. Good, let's try it. Give us something. Mm. Like an age. In a ah, that, wait, a, wait a minute. Did you feel it? Yeah. You have more or less what we are always afraid of to liberate the voice before yeah. you start. What you did before, you were holding the, 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 the voice. Now you liberate the voice. Yeah. Not with a big, uh, no, but you liberate the voice because the chord, remember one thing the chord, they have to vibrate. Yeah. Now what happened? You go on a count, uh, you double the uh, intensity on them. Now what is happening before you start? If they're like this, they cannot vibrate. Yeah. And they stay like this. No, you have to give them like a little bit of less yeah. to be able to go. And that's the thing, to liberate that, mm, that split minute, split second before the moment of the actual making the sound. Once more. That felt different. It felt it felt uh, wide. But well, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. It felt like that's right. <laughs> but now do me a favor, don't look at the floor. <laughs> you okay. If you remember that too? Yeah. Oh yeah. Never look at the floor. Never, never. Okay, it's the, the yes, it's the, the worst thing you can do. Just notice what I do at the very beginning when I'm going to sing Eri too. The breath is, like I said, the breath is not a matter of you breathing to survive or to live. No. It's a musical breath. Usually people use the breath not as a musical breath. But it's very important to feel it. It's a palpitation. Would you play it again? You see? Heights are deep. You have to do exactly the same thing with, uh, what is the phrase she? Tivola fronte. Yes, it's got to be exactly the Tivola fronte. Once more. You go straight. T. Oh, okay. e. you, if you want it, you could even l relax even more. Let it happen even more. Okay? okay. No. No, no. E. Uh, give me some. E. Ah, you see, you, you don't withhold the air. Okay. And that is the thing that you always do. The, 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 okay. You're putting the brake. No. T. 
You know, the thing is, people don't realize you're always going to have enough air, mm -hmm. not by trying to withhold the air, the opposite. Yeah. You always have air if you give the air. But if you stop the air, you seem to be short. And that's the thing I noticed all during the eye before. Yes, I, I felt a little low. But it's because of that. Yeah. Because you're afraid to give air. Give air. And it's very, you know, it's very surprising how much, how much is suggestive to the people that are listening to you to see, to feel, and to receive this kind of uh, Yeah. Try it. And don't be afraid, give me. Would you, like would you do my favor, use your hand? Okay. Your hand will indicate to you. Boom. Okay. No. Don't do that. <laughs> Go. Okay. Not. Uh, okay. The breath is a ro is a rotation. It never stops. Ha. 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 You see? No. Do me a favor. Do it from the face before. that yeah. and I'm gonna tell you one thing you'll be you will be very surprised if you when you're gonna have a chance to listen to it yeah. you're gonna notice that your voice there's something different in your, vo in your voice oh, and you're sure. gonna I'm possibly sure you yeah. will realize because of that the the richness of your voice is made by the breath yeah you it minimize it feels, also, it feels smaller inside so obviously there's more out absolutely yeah. yes and not to be afraid of that. Mm -hmm. Believe me, m less afraid of it, better it is. Mm -hmm. More afraid, more you're minimizing. This is why you got yeah. you got a lot of people they get out of breath. Yeah. Can you imagine life without a voice? Life without singing, without voice production. Anytime you turn on the TV, it would be mute. Even as a pianist, I find that the vocal arts are very important. My piano teachers used to tell me, sing at the piano. Arthur Rubinstein had a phrase, I learned how to play the piano from the great singers of my time. I did a little bit of research, and one of my favorite composers, Frederick Chopin, had said, the fingers must do the singing, and if you wish to play the piano, you must learn how to sing. And I find that I'm using exactly the same words to my students. There are so many similarities between piano technique, what you have to do to get a beautiful sound, support, relaxation, using the wrist for breathing, and using music as a language, the same as you do for voice. I had an advantage. I married an opera singer, Louis Quillico, and he's been giving me little hints and told me to be master of my own body, use your brains, and he established nine laws of singing. And I will give the floor to him. The first law was how to stand on your feet and why is it important to do so? Well, let's, let's put it this way. When you build a house, you start from the ground up. And the voice is exactly the same thing. This is the big problem with singers in general. They've learned one thing. You make a sound, huh. But what is, what create that sound? What is the thing that is imperative for it? And this is the thing. If you, for instance, you don't know how to stand, and I'm sorry to say it, uh, for instance, I said I saw the, 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 the three tenor, and I could watch, I watched even the way they were standing. 
and uh, their, their feet have, because you have to find a certain buoyancy. And if you don't have uh, flexibility in your feet, another thing, it, it's not only the buoyancy, but I will show you what I mean by this. Now, for instance, if I stand in my two feet, now my whole body is completely, uh, uh, there's a tension from my head to toe. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Now, wha just watch the top of my thorax here. You will notice one thing. The moment I, I move, automatically the old tensions disappear. That means you have to take away the tension from up here to be able to transport it somewhere. Where do you transport? You transport it on the leg that you're standing on. Now the thing is, it's very important, this leg that you are standing on, you're not only standing on the, on the leg, you are really standing on the ball of the field. That means that gives you your buoyancy you want. If you are on the heel, there's no buoyancy. You have to feel more or less there's another thing that is very imperative for that, is that you have to feel like a boxer. A boxer is never with his heel in the back, you know, boom. You see, so once in a while you see a boxer that stands that way, but in general, you, you see the boxer standing in certain way to have completely buoyancy of his body. And this is, for me, the most important thing. You change leg that you are on this leg, you go back there relaxation. Or I go back, you notice that tension come up. Now I'm going to move the other leg. Back. There it is. But always on the ball of the feet. Always on the ball of the feet. There's one thing about our voice that we never understood, that 95% of the people don't understand, that we are exactly like a violin. We have two chords and we have the air, that is the bow. Now what is the most important thing? Is it the bow or the air? Give me an answer on this. The bow or the air, the, the, the bow is the air. The air, yes. The bow is more important. No, it's the opposite. The chords are the one that dictate the exactly. Vibrate. Exactly, because what, what is happening? If you give me too much air on the chord, it'll vibrate. The violin, why, what do you think, you, you, when you see a great violin, you see him, he's got practically nothing that holds here. Yeah. Right? There's, that's very flexible for him. Then on top of that, the, the, on top of that, see him, the way he takes the bow, the way he puts it on the... Mm. Uh, uh, the other day I was looking at a, a concert and it was so amazing the way he would deposit his bow on the chord. And I says, my God, if singer could understand, vision, what is the connection between your chord, your air, the chord of the violin, the, the, the bow of the violin, it's exactly the same thing, you know? For instance, when they, when they play, they don't do like this, they go like this. Now, there's a lot of air between the bow and the chords. Us, it's exactly the same thing. It's to be able to translate into your mind that to give an opening for the air to come, then get back together, and then the air comes out. And the moment it touch, it touch your cord, it does exactly like you if you try to touch your eyes. Yep. And automatically, the air doesn't keep on pushing. No, the, the cord says, stop. And this is, this is, now we're going to talk about the breathing after and all that. What next? The next thing, since we're talking about the body, being master of the body and controlling the body, yes. and talking about the violin rather than the bow, which is important, yeah. support. Can you tell us how you get support for a singer? Uh, can you explain to me what you feel about the support yourself? Well, when I take a breath in, there's a lot of things of what you were Ex saying. Explain me, yes. Okay, okay. When I take a breath in, it's very important the way I'm standing. I feel that, that 
the support is almost coming through the ground as much as anything. Take a breath in, it, it engages, the breath comes out, and, and the voice just floats on it, as, as in a... I'm going to tell you one thing. You're complicating the thing too much. Because your body, just feel your body, what is your body? And you know that the, 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 the functioning of uh, the support is a very simple thing. It's the same thing as the chuck absorber on a car. What is the chuck absorber does to the car? Stabilize yep. all the time. What do you think? The support is exactly the same thing. Just stabilizing breath. Now put your hand on my hand. Okay? Now press. Yep. This is what we usually do. Now press slowly. Yeah. And that's what it does. And all of a sudden it comes to the point where the voice will start to go in motion. All of a sudden it stops there, the yep. air stops. There's no more pressure on the air. And that is the thing. We always figured that, for me, it's the, the motion of it. Because the thing is, it's not to try to say, uh, it's the tonsil, it's this, it's that. The, the motion, to try to feel, it goes down. And the, it's a membrane that really yeah. goes down. Like, for instance, the big problem is, if you keep, like, a lot of people talk about the sport, you pull in. That's a sport. What do you do? You can How do you breathe with this? Well, Finish. you can't, yeah. That's it. You have to be free, and that is the freedom. For instance, your lungs have, cannot, cannot go up, cannot go back, because you've got, the, the, you got the, 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 what do you call the? Uh, ribs. The ribs, yeah. and you've got the, the shoulder and everything. Yeah. What is the functioning of the, it's go down. The Give drops. space. Yeah. Give space forward, ba back, uh, backward, and maybe a little bit, yeah. but down especially. Yeah. And that is the thing that very often singers don't understand, that they think that they, they fill in by, <laughs> no, it's the opposite. You rise are very, very capricious. You practically cannot touch them. The air does exactly the same thing with your lungs. If by a mistake, of your mind that you do, you're stopping the air. Because what is happening, this is what happened. Not only, not, it's not exactly the lungs that will stop, but the cord will stop you. And uh, uh, you, put an, uh, you, put, you put an obstruction. And how do you fight that obstruction? Only one way, eliminate it, and that's it. La tuo figlio a te concedo riveder nell'ombra nel silenzio. This note is not good for a simple reason. When I started the aria, I was singing too much for myself, and it lasted to, practically till the end of the aria. I have to say, and the. It's a simple thing. I could not open my throat enough because I was trying to too much to try to think of technique and all that, and that's very bad. You know, even, even good singers sometimes uh, take habit. The fourth law is how to open the throat. Good. You see, the thing is that, that, that most of the singers don't know that you have to open your throat when you sing. There's a lot of people. Some of them, they know. Some of them, they're doing it without even thinking, no, and it's there. Okay? Now, very simple thing. This is a muscle. Okay? Now watch what happened. Now, I didn't do this with the air. Now, watch what happened if I do a sound, flows. Uh, uh. But if I open it, uh. the point is by opening the throat, you become in control not only of 
the opening of the throat, it creates the, your attention that you're looking for the cord. Just try to understand one thing that is very simple. I can, you know, I'm jumping maybe or all, all that stuff, but this is your throat. It's very simple. This is your cord. Now they're like this, huh? Now all of a sudden, you're opening up the, the larynx. Is this what happened to your cord? There it is. And already, 50% is done for you. But if a person doesn't know how to open a deaf throat, and I'm sorry to say it, no matter who you are, and no matter who is the singer, and bring me Mr. Pavarotti, bring me Mr. Placido Domingo right here in front of me, and they will not deny that. It is not possible. That's why they became great singer like they are, because they discovered this opening. Nemico della patria E vecchia fiava che beatamente Bad habit on this is that at certain moment you will notice that the voice open and close on me and there is nothing I can do about it. My mind doesn't seem to be able to control You see, like tradito, that, that is completely cool. And it says, this is not dignified of stating that it's a good note for that reason. Like this one, costume, that's wide open, and that is not good at all. I don't vocalize before I sing. But I don't vocalize, but I do something else. It's like uh, she has to play the piano, huh? us, we have to sing. Now, just think to open your throat. Now, what are you, what are you doing? You're doing this to the, to the chord. And that's what's important. Like they, they say, you know, a violin has to play. The violin has hmm. to play the violin during the day, why? Not for the violin. The violin doesn't have to be warmed up. Like the piano is there. The pianist comes in, yes, sometimes very often they will tune because the piano goes out of tune. But a violin is going, is going to tune his violin just before. But he doesn't play the He could take any violin and play with it and then do a concert with another violin. The violin doesn't have to be warmed up. I have to say that my feeling is ourself, mind over matter, will give you exactly what you want. As you might notice, I started out of pitch. That is a very simple reason for that. I was not ready to start the concert. We had little problem, and that, that is the, the reason. Another thing, the throat was not enough open. All during the aria, practically. Right now, you see, I'm getting back to pitch. Now something is starting to function again. All of a sudden, my mind says, start. What I'm saying right now, there's a lot of teacher that's gonna criticize this, but I don't, I don't care because I made my career on this. It's the day I discovered how to open my throat. And I've, I'm gonna tell you one thing, I had to work very hard. I, I had signed a contract with an opera company and I knew I could not fulfill my, my part because I was not ready vocally. And all of a sudden I says I got six months and without teacher, without nobody, I said I'm gonna discover what is the voice. Before we go on to the breathing, are there any questions? I do have one. Um, you mentioned that you, you stand about six months in front of a wall until you finally found the right, the proper sound. Um, in the light of that, basically what you're saying is that one can go to as many lessons as they want. If they're not willing to take responsibility for their body, it won't happen. This is a beautiful answer. Because that's the thing I always say to the pupils. 
The real yeah. teacher is not me. It's not the teacher you have in front of you. It's yourself. You know, it, it's like a, a doctor who wants to become a doctor. He has to learn by himself how to cough. And that w us singers, we expect our teacher after 50 years is going to be there holding us by the On hand. On the stage. Yeah, really. uh, exactly. <laughs> you don't realize how alone you are. And but that's the point, you know, yeah. because the thing is, just try to realize one thing. To learn how to sing, it's exactly like when you're going to walk on that stage. Nobody is there to help you. Everything is done by yourself. It's a very lonely life, I would say. Yeah. But it's a marvelous life. So, but in a way, you, if, if, if it doesn't work, there's no use in blaming the teacher. You just did not do your part of the I would the go work. as far as to say that I think there is more bad pupil than teacher. Yeah. Or bad singers. Call it the way you want it. Mm -hmm. Because you see, the thing is, there's one thing that you have to learn. I, I think it's a good thing that I, I should say it now. Don't get accustomed to your sound. Because the moment you start, to, you start to get accustomed to your sound, automatically that is the sound you want to do. And you know how many times I saw pupil giving me that, that is the sound they want to hear. And I said, no, it is not possible. I said, maybe the sound that you don't want to hear, that you want to be part, not part of it, it's the right sound. I said, how are you going to do? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't think I want to sing. I says, good. Give up. <laughs> That's the only way. Yeah. 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 Huh. Well, getting back to the sound, uh, there's one thing that to you always... Breath, you mean. Well, even before the breath, since we were talking about the sound, the head position, because the larynx oh, collapses. <laughs> I've been a good pupil. <laughs> my conscience. My conscience. The thing is <clears throat> that I have to say, I have to be very careful. The head has to be in a, exactly in the right position. And do me a favor, buy the last tape that the three tenor did, because that is a hell of a good lesson. Because I'm going to tell you one thing. When you look at Placido Domingo, you look at Luciano Pavarotti, Carreras, I would say maybe he was trying to use maybe certain things. But look at these two great monsters. I call them monsters. They know how to sing. Just watch what they're doing with their head. You're going to notice one thing. The head never moves. Yeah. And that is a very simple thing. Because these two little cords, our larynx, maybe the larynx, let's say the larynx is long like this. You cannot make it long like this. Yeah. And you have a lot of people, that's what they do. They either sing, or they sing, ah. And I'm going to give you a simple example. Now, if you listen very carefully, don't sing, but just listen carefully. You're going to hear when I take the breath. Now, I'm going to bring the head down. I try to open the, the throat. There's nothing I can do. Now, I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to go up. There's nothing I can do. But. Now it's normal. Now watch it again. You see, you move your head, I would say you move your head about maybe a sixteen, uh, an eighth of an inch. You're off of the, I call it the socket. That is the danger. You have to be exactly right on the socket. And watch Pavarotti singing. Watch yeah. uh, Flaxudu singing. It's exactly the same thing. If they're a little bit tired, sometimes they might raise the, vo the, the head like that to maybe to, to stop the voice going. But that, that could be dangerous. But they don't do it. They, they know what they have to do vocally. I'm not criticizing the way they, they do the, 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 the singing. No, it's the opposite. They know what to do. And that, these are the people, for young singers, it's to watch. For you, what is the uh, resonance? Tell me. Where is the resonance? My whole body, my head. Well, I'd, I'd say that obviously the, the sound is made there, and then it, it, it has to be resonated into somewhere, and that is up to you where it goes. If you can 
have some type of opening for it to go. That is not bad, but the real resonance of, of, your, uh, of your voice is the chord. Because you take up the tension of the chord, you've got no resonance. You know, they always yeah. say, put it yeah. in the resonance, put it in the resonance, you know? No, that's where it goes down after it's produced. That's right. Yeah. That's but right. for instance, I'm just going to show you. Now, I'm going to loosen the voice, uh, the, the, the chord, huh? Uh, 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 there's, there's no resonance. But if I ten tension the chord, I will give you. Uh, uh, that's nothing with the resonance. The resonance is a cavity. Yep. Now I'm coming to the resonance after this. But the, the, the real, the real so. production of the resonance, it's thanks to the chord. It's the chord which makes it. That's why you have to be very careful because a lot of singers, they think, oh, well, you've got a big voice. You've got to make a big voice. No. Well produce the voice. Look at the violin. The violin is not a big instrument, but it still makes a good sound. What or how did it make it sound? Because it's got its cavity, but it's it's not that he's pushing in the in it. No, it's only the vibration of the chord and the the bow. That's all it is. Through a piece, the what do you, what do you call it? Uh, the uh, bridge. The bridge. Yeah. Through the bridge, it gives that vibration on the rest of the violin. But the violin himself, it is not. It, it, it creates the sound, yes, but it's done from ear, communicating to this bridge, to the bridge, to the violin. That's why the resonance of the violin is, that is done by the chord. That's why you, you've got a good violinist that's going to play the violin, all of a sudden you're going to hear a sound like you say, my God, I don't know where is that sound come from. How does he make that sound? He's got his own way to do it. And maybe his way to do it is by less pressure on his bow, as least as possible, but to have more vibration from it. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is where the, the great artists become <laughs> great because they discover things that other people they expect a teacher to give it to them, but they don't want to go and search for it. Mm -hmm. I have to say that I became, I came back to a little bit to my own self at this moment of the evening. And you will hear the credo. The credo is already in a much better spirit. If you notice the, 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 the interpretation, not only the interpretation, but the vocal approach is very much what it should be. There's not opening, closing, opening, closing. And you see, that, that is what is singing about. You promised to tell me the story about breathing, having the little pipe between the two front teeth. Well, uh, before, you remember when I, sa I asked you about say yes? Well, if you really understood the meaning of how you take the air and you say the yes, when I, once upon a time, I was thinking, like uh, it brought me to this, uh, I had a funny feeling that I had a little pipe just between my teeth here. And when I would take the air, I would shoot the air out. Never take the air. Not. Oh. I shoot yeah. the air out. And mm. what is happening by shooting the air out? Oh, I feel it right away. <laughs> it's, a <laughs> it's a funny thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. More or less, you shoot the air out, the voice is here. The voice, the vo this is the voice. You shoot the air out. The, the air catches the voice and goes with it. Yes. Yes. I come back to what we said before. A rotation. 
Mm. And one of the most important things, the most marvelous thing that was invented in this world is the wheel. And the voice is exactly like the wheel. Follow the, the motion of the wheel. Not the, the wheel, if you back up the car, it's one thing. But if you go forward, you know, think about it. This is the motion of the... Of. Now, usually, at 95 to 97% of the singers, when they take the air, they go... Uh, they suck the air. Or they swallow it? Yes. They, they suck, I call, yeah. I call it suck. Okay. But if they swallow the air, it goes... If I make a grosso modo, you know? Now, what is happening with this? It's going in, and then it has to stop. And then it and goes then back How does it stop? It, it reaches the end. I don't know, no, no, no. It stops one way. Yeah, that way. Now, take the air. Hold it. What stops it? Here. Ah. It's uh, your it, core. Because when you, when you said this thing, and, and I'll tell you, I, I did that, and this, I didn't feel the tension I, that I just felt there. I know, but I'm, there. I'm talking about the way they would breathe, <laughs> usually. What is happening? This is what is happening. They, they breathe. Yeah. Now, they want to say, and you have a lot of people singing that way. That doesn't do it. It cannot do it. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. And that, I call this the rotation. Instead of taking the air, the rotation of the air this way. Now, when you take the rotation of the air this way, this is what they have to do. Uh, and they have to push. Now, if you do the opposite, you go with the rotation. Now, watch what happens. Uh, uh, how do you stop? Uh, yes. Yes. It's exactly yeah. the same thing. That little word, yes, feel what it does to you. I assume if then you, nev you never have, like sometimes we sing, and if we do that, if we have a very, very short time to breathe, it's just not possible. But I assume that if you oh, go yes. like that, oh, you sorry. always... Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do this way. Just, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So you, if, you, if you, you, you can, like, even... You know, it's, it's not possible the other cut. way. If you have Absolutely. a long run, you can yeah. cut without it very sh yeah. showing a lot. And if you have to breathe like that, you'll have a big... <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. Now, the, the breathing is very important in, in the singing. It's to create, to, to take up the tension. And my feeling of me, everybody can think the way they want, but for me, my feeling of it, look very carefully at the rotation. This is the rotation, huh? This is the rotation. Now, what happens when I breathe? This is my cord. Okay? Now, this is what I feel. Actually feel, huh? Watch what happens. Yeah. Now, what happened here? The air goes in. The air goes in. But if this stays... Yeah. <laughs> do it the way you want it. The friction here. And the moment that the, the air finished coming in, the cord does... <laughs> Now, what is happening? <coughs> that won't come out. Sounds then like you'll some feel tenors sore after a while, too. <laughs> a lot of singers, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> but when you hear people like uh, Placido Domingo and uh, Luciano Pavarotti, I have to say one thing. You watch that, you listen to it, you say to yourself, how they do it, that's what they do. I have to, st I have to tell you that I've searched, and I really searched, and I came out of the, dedu the deduction that is the only way to do it. And anybody will tell me the contrary. I, I don't give a hoot because me, it's only for 40, 45. Well, if I count with my younger years, it's uh, exactly about 60, 63 years now that I've been singing. And uh, the voice is still there. I, the, the, I just finished to sing at the Met, no? I just mm -hmm. finished to do Tosca as the Met. Match in the fall. I just did a then few I go to Israel to do Pagliacci in the fall. Then I'm going back to Venezuela to do Pagliacci in the fall. 
Then I go to Israel to do pali uh, the, the barber seva, and, and so on and so on. Oh, <laughs> 